So good afternoon. It is done and it wasn't easy. I can tell you that much. If you may remember, I did a video two years ago in December, end of December uh, 2021, when I went to Martin to have the other alternator, I had redone, reworked. You can hear the noise. This is the one which was in there. So this is what this thing sounded. This was a regular Bosch replacement. And that came out of a SE, 85300SE. This is what the previous owner had installed. You can see how rusted up this is. And um, this was the voltage regulator I had on the one I got of eBay for $50, which we rebuilt. And this is the one I got from Monarch. No, not from Monarch. This is the Monarch, which came from Mercedes Source. And this is the one I put in. And this is what that looks like it after 15,000 miles. And we put this in in the beginning of uh, 2021. So this is coming up on three years here. We're like uh, two years and nine months into this, somewhere around there. This one held pretty well up. The 14.5 volts this thing has is a little bit high for the Bosch S6 AGM flat plates. Or AMG, AGM. I think that's what they are. AGM, yeah. So I went for the rebuilt unit, which I got off eBay for 50 bucks, which is this thing here. That's an AL69X. And then I got for $50 with free shipping of eBay, Martin machined everything, and my friend at NSK got me the new bearings. They are not sealed bearings, but they are contact bearings, which means they have a seal, but it is not the same as a fully sealed bearing. But in this position where this thing is for the moment, it is fine. And I put my double pulley on here, which came off this thing. And the reason why was because the this one here, which uh, was in the car, no, the, uh, the eBay one, had this pulley system on here with these parts. And you can see what happened yesterday. I put it on yesterday. And I drove 10 miles, and this is what my belt looks like it. And it got all chewed up and twisted because this thing here broke. The AL... 69X, these alternators use a different pulley system than this one here, which was a standard Bosch. I'm gonna show you the part number here. That is a 120, I think, 124-6958859, 14 volts, 80 amps. And then I also replaced this here. This was my bracket, which was in here with a completely worn out bolt, which is typical. So I went to AutoZone this morning, and after looking at this belt here, the way, and this here, and I got 1540, 400, 1500. This one here, this is a 40 inch belt. It's a half an inch longer than the uh, Mercedes-Benz belt, which was in there. And you can see this now, the screw, for the thing is exactly in the middle of the bracket here. And now you can properly adjust this. I replaced the bracket. This alternator came with a working bracket and a working adjustment screw. So I got this all set. The only thing I could not get even out was my air pump. There is a bolt in here on the top, which needs a five millimeter hex. And I got the hex in and the bolt is rusted and of course it stripped the head on it. So I have to wait until I flush the car next year and get the, uh, the radiator out so we can get there better and then drill this bolt out. And then the pump has to come out because that pump, the bearings are out as well. So this is where we are for the moment. And I got a new replacement already, S6, because the winter is coming up. This one here is holding now after three years 
only about 60% of the charge when it is fully charged and it drops off rapidly. Um, they say 14 to 14.5 14 volts charging. Um, the Bosch regulators all are 14 volts. This is the one I put in here. Cost me 50 bucks. But I figured the batteries are by far more expensive. So I went this route. And then the next thing we got, but I'm not going to put this in today. I finally ordered the replacement Euro fan blower um, like Mike did over at uh, Impala Man. Um, and uh, that is the part here. I haven't put it in yet. I do not feel like doing the uh, uh, yoga uh, thing in there today. And then I got finally a new oil pan. And that will be a separate video when we're going to put this in there to prevent this or stop this from leaking. But this will be a video for another day. Otherwise, we're good. This was just it. Be careful when you replace these alternators. Mercedes Benz doesn't have them anymore or they are out at the moment and they might be completely discontinued. Bosch doesn't have any either rebuilt ones. So I was lucky that I got the AL69X uh, two years ago when I did and uh, with the new bearings and everything and the new diode ring, which is finest Chinesium, we will see how long this thing is gonna last. And with that, you have a great afternoon. So, after 32 miles, after 20 miles, the new diode assembly, the three-phase rectifier assembly made in China, we put into our rebuilt alternator failed. I swapped out the voltage regulators and we're not charging. So, the belt is fine. All of this stuff is working, but what failed within 20 miles of driving, um, I had the initial charge was 14.2, 14.3. It just went out, it came on, off, on, off, and now it is completely out after 32 miles. I got, uh, I would say 12.3 volts between 12.2 and 12.3 left. So I'm going to get a different alternator altogether. So don't buy the repair overhaul kits on eBay or Amazon with the uh, bridge rectifiers assemblies in there because that is uh, not good what we're getting there. And with that, you have a great evening.